Conversation behind closed doors with Hefei and Cam the Cameraman. We got Sheeplin. We got Ism of the Days. We got all kind of segments. We got it. Right there. Chasing chicken, talking the turkey. The other one we had, you want to be a new update. So, okay. Hey. You guys watching new, new Hello design. Shipping the Podcast with Cam Devon. Came at your figure. Yes, sir. It's okay, be the group seeker, man. How was your week, brother? Man, it worked, man. It's the best job. <laughs> man, stay on the slave ship. We know how it go. Man, they had me out there grinding it out. I can dig it. Hey, but it's good though, man. Work, work at this. You know, stand hard, stand motivated, stand on your path. It's actually uh, what we talking about today, really, because we're talking about what the culture for our people and what we had to go through to get where we are today. So when you look at things coming from slavery to about 1920 to where some of our our great great grandfathers, great great grandmothers, and stuff, you know, um, has started to come into wealth and get educated on their own businesses around this time. And we actually built many black Wall Streets all over the world. You know, not just the one in Tulsa, Oklahoma, um, North Carolina, man, many other cities across the world that you'll never hear about. So I kind of wanted to give my um, view of it all the way up until the Emmett Till situation and Mm kind of reflect and kind of talk about what happened and how um, we were in those successful positions. And uh, man, Black Wall Street was amazing. Doctors, lawyers, just basically like how you have a little Italy or a Chinatown. Black you know, cities that, you mind, but yeah, it's, it's, yeah, it's deep, thrive. Yeah. yeah. So I want to know what you think about that.